What's up guys, Phoenix here. This video is going to be another little nonsensical video because it's time for another mail opening. Uh, this is actually just another one of those packages that I was expecting to come in. I think there's like five or six that I'm expecting to come in. Um, I don't know if I'm going to open all of them on camera or not, but uh, this is the only one that came in today. And I ordered them all on the same date. So yesterday we had the one that came from California. That came from California in two days. And now we have the one that, uh, that came from literally down the street from Duluth, Georgia. And I live in Lilburn, Georgia. Um... Which uh, I find hilarious that, like, this could have been brought to me, like, in a car faster than it was to ship it. Uh, like, I could have gone and gotten it. Now, it doesn't actually feel like it was shipped in a top loader. But there is a lot of cards, so maybe these are fine? I don't know. The main reason I do these is so that I can have some form of protection in these and how this functions. Okay, so it was in a bubble mailer, which is, which is great because those are almost impossible to actually bend or crease. And it's folded up, uh, folded up pretty tightly in paper but I've yet to see a top loader and it is just it's just a stack of cards shoved into a penny sleeve which I guess is okay considering how much paper they wrapped it in and the fact that it was in a bubble mailer um, the fact that there's so many cards um, offsets the ability like the need for uh, for a top loader I guess uh, because it's almost impossible for this to get bent to the point where it would crease with this big a stack of cards in it um, as well as uh, it being completely wrapped in paper like it was wrapped in it's uh, had the order sheet on it, and then it also had two other pieces of paper uh, wrapped around it that were folded nice and tightly. So I guess that's pretty all right. Uh, everything looks uh, everything looks good according to uh, according to the first uh, the first looks. It's in a shipping sleeve and then one of these big penny sleeves. Um, there we go. And so what do we got here? We've got. Uh, two ultimate boxes that are ultimate, and they were supposed to be first ed. Luckily, this shop is down the street, so if they're not correct, then uh, then I can just take it down there. No, these were unlimiteds. Okay, I did order unlimiteds from this store. Um, interesting. I could have swore I ordered all first ed, but it turns out I goofed. But anyway, it doesn't really matter. It's just literally. Literally one little line of text, so I guess it's fine. I mean, these still just look fine as ultis, and I'd rather... I'm probably just going to end up getting these uh, these swapped um, from my uh, foreign supplier next time I see them. Uh, but the two ulti boxes, uh, triple uh, Jautu, triple creation? No, double creation. I think I, had to have, I think I had to split the order between boxia and creation between two different stores. So, Yangs and creation, yes, there's only two of them in this order. Uh, so there's only two of these in this order, even though I don't even know if the deck plays this at this current point in time. Um, simply because I haven't done nearly as much testing with the deck as I would have liked to have done. Um, I just literally just bought all the Yang Zing cards, as I said in the previous video. Uh, two Bixies, and three Bians, and then a Chow Fang. Okay, so this is, this looks to be the entirety of the order. Yeah, one Chow Fang, the two Yang Zings, uh, the two Bixies, the three Bians. The two ulti boxes, the three Jautus. That's everything that I ordered from this order from this place. I was so annoyed that when I was placing this order on TCG Player that I had to get my ulti boxes. I had to get the third one from a different location. Same thing with the Yangzing creations. Um, it was just cheaper to get Swannies and stuff from other places. Um, it was cheaper to get Chi wins and Yangzing pass from a different place. Like I found that ridiculous completely. But this is probably the. I think this is the biggest section of my order in terms of coming in from one singular store from one singular place uh, so I mean I'm kind of glad to have this in my hands because it's able to you know I'm able to do things with it now um, I don't know if I, I know for a fact that I only ordered two Bixies from all the stores that I ordered from so I hope it's not a 3F <laughs> um, I don't know the deck plays really aggressively now so I think like two Bixie is fine because once you do your Jiao 2 play um, you're able to uh, you're able to search path in the deck and actually activate path um, because the deck plays so aggressively. Like, if, for those of you that don't know, like literally metal a uh, metal foes monster plus any three Yang Zing cards is a very very large uh, play that you're able to do utilizing like boxia loops and stuff like that. But then like even if you're playing regularly, like the deck just gains pluses over and over again, and then you're able to do things like boxia them on their turn and stuff like that. But anyway, that is basically the bulk of this uh, section of the order. Uh, I do these videos because some people like to watch what I get and like watch like like to see what I'm picking up for forecasting purposes for the future, uh, stuff like that. I am picking these up because um, I'm expecting Metal Foes Yang Zing to be very good even before the Invasion of Venom set, as I've already said. I'm expecting the deck to still be really decent in terms of what it's capable of doing. 
uh, because the deck is a floater deck. It has very explosive plays with Jiao Tu. Um, Boxia is just an amazing boss monster. Um, I don't think I've ever seen a boss monster that like, as good for a specific deck of, like as Boxia. Boxia does a, a huge deal of stuff. And then Chao Fang is also great because it's a floodgate you can summon. Stuff like that. All these different factors uh, go into play. And then the Metal Foes deck is just inherently strong in itself because it's a Pendulum deck. Um, so though, combining those together, giving yourself a Pendulum, Synchro, and Fusion um, strat just seems really cool. And I can't wait to uh, actually like start testing it hardcore and do some things with it. But other than that, uh, if you like these videos, leave a like down below. If you like the Metal Foes Yang Zing deck, if you have any ideas of anything or have any suggestions for the deck, um, if you've been testing it at all, definitely leave comments down below as well. Uh, other than that, I guess that's all for this video. Like, comment, subscribe to all the nonsense you usually do. And other than that, as always, guys, this has been another just me showing what I'm getting in the mail video. And as always, guys, take care.